Wait a minute. I got to show. No, I got to put my glasses on. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Then I got to find it. I got to find. I got to find where it's at. What I mean, find where it's at. Find where my guest at. He say he on here. But I can't see nothing from nobody. Oh, you know, I be tripping. You know what? Hold on, y'all. Y'all know I don't ever be ready. So I don't know if y'all can even hear me, see me. Oh, that's the wrong one. I don't want this show. I don't want this show. I don't want this show. I had the wrong show. Hold on, y'all. Man, how my own show be hating on me, man? I'm just trying to see. I'm just trying to see it on the screen. You know what I'm saying? We got somebody major like this on the show. Dang. Let me just make sure I'm, I can see myself good. You have a tad. Oh, I can see myself on the on the on the thing now. But I, I don't know if I can I don't know if I can hear if I can hear my guest though. Let me see. One, two, Coach one, Johnson. Two. What's up, man? You know what? It's weird to say Coach Johnson. I'm gonna tell you why it's weird to say Coach Johnson. Because I don't know you as no dang on dang on Coach Johnson, man. Nah, I nah. know you as Lamont. Yes. Cyclones. Yes. Iowa yes. State, I had mm -hmm. to come up there in my first race against somebody that I'm not going to use the word scared because I ain't never been scared to race nobody. All right? So scared ain't the word. But I will say as a as a sprinter in junior college, the first person, y'all, I had to line up next to, I would say I might have been a little nervous. I ain't, gonna, I ain't scared, but I was nervous because I ain't never raised nobody in college, was Lamont. First person. I ain't gonna lie, first person. When I say ran me to the line in that 60, ran me to the line. You no, know, but 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 <laughs> your career, I, I watched how locked in you were. See, the funny thing is, right? Nobody really knows about those moments inside the hotel when mm. you can see people. And I and I never forget the one thing you said. You had, I think you had just missed making the US indoor team. Boy, mm -hmm. close. I think you got like third. I got third. Right there. 2008, yep. And I never forget, it was, it was at the bar. It was me, you, and I think Mark was with you. Mm -hmm. And I never forget, you had this look on your face like, when outdoors come, y'all going to have a problem. <laughs> and you, you said it, and it was so matter of fact that nobody in that area said anything. Because we know what we saw. We know what we saw, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, that group that was down here in Kansas City, man, especially Mark, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Like, yo, people don't understand how really, really good y'all were. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all made each other better. Like, y'all will go to meets and y'all will put y'all y'all will put on, man. Like, y'all legitimately will put on. And it wasn't so much about the money thing. It was like, yo, I'm ready to... I'm ready to bust some heads open. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, you know, and, and and nothing was more evident of that when you made. I think you made the 03 finals. You made the but, uh, finals of uh, USA's. Oh, let me see. So 03, I made the finals. 05, I made the finals. Yes. 09, I made the I made the the finals. Let me see, no, 07, I made the finals. 08, yeah. I did not. 09, I made the finals, and I made the team in 09. Yeah, and and if people really knew what you had to deal with back in 05, back out there in California, <laughs> they, don't, they don't get it, yo. They don't get it. They don't get it. And, 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 and that, that story's for whatever. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, the one thing I'll say is, and that's why I, um, first of all, I'm going to give my shout outs to everybody. We'll do that in a minute. But, you know, it is the one year anniversary of Race Take. This thing has been going on for a whole year. Yeah. And I really said, you know what, because of everything that went on this weekend and to, 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 I'll say to you without you knowing, because, you know, we can say that, you know, my career may have took off and went further than yours but i always looked at you like a big brother because you was one of the first people that actually sat me down like when i was at kck we would come to iowa state that would actually talk to us and talk to me and be like hey bro you know what i'm saying you got it you just got to keep doing this you know what i'm saying and and stay focused and train hard you know what i'm saying and and, and i still remember literally sitting down on the bench 
you know what I'm saying, at Iowa State, you know, you on the left of me, Coach Hop on the right of me, and I'm just not trying to learn how to run the 60, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you were telling me then, it's like, man, don't, bro, don't even worry about it. You know, just keep doing your thing. Keep keep working at it. Keep working hard. And I, I will say when we came back ne next year, and I think it was like your senior year, you was probably one of the happiest people when I ran that 300 and I went like 32, you know what I'm saying, that on that four by three. And then I also had went like, like I finally won a 60 and went like 670, wasn't that fast. But I remember, you know what I'm saying, you being like daft me up, like, yo, bro, see that what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? And and, and I just want to pre tell you, just give you your flowers for that because unhonest to you, like that, that alone gave me a spark to continue to go because it was like, it was the first time that it was somebody I had to actually race against that was motivating me to be better. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, you'll go to the track meets, and you know how, how I used to be. you go to track meets, and then the folks you got to run against don't say nothing to you. They be mugging. You know what I'm saying? But you you pretty much came with open arms, even knowing you had to race us. You feel me? Right. And it was kind of like, you know, when you won that first one, like, hey, but don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all going to be all right. So I really want to tell you, you know what I'm saying, now, almost what, 20 some years later, that those type of things, those type of memories still stuck with me my entire career. You know what yeah, I'm saying? So did. I've always I've always respected what you do in track and field. I've always respected your voice. I've always respected the things that you put together because you aren't just a track and field fan. You're not just a track and field coach. You literally are a track and field guru because you study the sport the way it should be studied. You know what I'm right. saying? And I don't know if people actually understand that about you. Like, well, I'm sure they do because when you tweet and post, people are paying attention. So <laughs> I, I just was like, man, you know what? Even when I started doing the podcasting thing, you know, and I came on y'all show in the beginning and all that stuff, you know, and I was just proud then to be able to be on it. So before we even get the show started, I wanted to make sure I give you your flowers for that because I don't even know if you really know the impact that you had on my career. You know, yeah, I didn't. So, I definitely appreciate that, man. Thank you. No problem, brother. No problem. Nah. You know what? <laughs> Defo gonna kill us if I don't do this good roll call and say what's up to everybody that's on here. <laughs> do your so thing, before man. we get to talk about this track and field stuff, and mm -hmm. let me go and say what's up to these people, man. Who in here? Who is in this dang on chat thing? Because I already, oh my microphone falling apart and stuff. <laughs> Where they at? LB, man, I should have known. Listen here, y'all. It's been a whole doggone year. LB, I don't know if LB, I don't know who LB is. Where LB come from? Where LB stay at? But LB has been a raise take faithful. Since the beginning, King Samuel, same thing. You probably, my sis, you probably, Mollywood. You probably <laughs> saved this life, man. Like people, people don't understand what these podcasts have done. We've given people something to look forward to when we was all stuck in the house. And that's mm -hmm. what you gave people, man. That's what you gave people. You came out the gate swinging. I'm talking about you ain't tried to ease into it. You came out <laughs> swinging, and you gave the people what they wanted. So. You 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 left the impact on somebody, man. You're helping people, man. Keep doing that. I appreciate yeah. that. I appreciate that. Who else in this thing? King Majestic, my boy Pat. Motion sickness. She is B Wayne. Y'all know we can't start the show till Rodney pop up, so we can just keep doing this. All in the game. What's going down? Daddy Roy, man, what it is? We're we're huffman. Motion sickness, my sis. Dice, what's good? Dice, what is going on? Say man. Rodney, oh shit, let's go. Rodney Dinkins in here. Y'all know I can't start the show until two people got to be on the show. LB and Rodney Dinkins. When Rodney say I'm here, the show can start. Now we can get this thing popping. All right, so check it. First and foremost, because of everything that happened this weekend, I really wanted to make sure that when I got on the show to talk, I wanted somebody else in the sport on the collegiate side to be there. And Jaden Slade, what's going on, brother? And one thing that you did that you pointed out today on Twitter about, you know, Abby's running and stuff was what made me say, you know what? I want him on the show tonight so we can talk about it. Because you tweeted something that made sense. Do you remember what you tweeted? About no one understanding what her training program is. They told about she's peaking too soon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 
they don't know. They don't know Tim Hall or Lonnie Green. Go a little further in detail with that. Okay, so you and I, right? You and I both know when you're on, you're on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? No matter if you're loaded or whatever the case may be, when you're on, you're on. All right. And Tim Hall and Lonnie Green sees the big picture. They mm -hmm. understand that this woman is one of the better sprinters, not just in the U.S., but in the world. Mm -hmm. So her training, her training isn't deviating, all right, because these aren't new coaches who just got a new Ferrari and don't know how to act because they got a brand new car. No, they mm -hmm. been on the block a couple of times. So they're not deviating from the plan. They understand that Abby Steiner and the way the, the, the world championship fall, this is the earliest it's ever been, July 15th. It falls directly into what they need and what they want to do. So mm -hmm. they don't have to change anything. They don't have to change anything. So they can keep running and keep loading. And then when it's time to deload, quote unquote, deload, she'll be fine. So people sitting there wondering, oh, she ran 22 3. And dude, she's just wired. She's ready. Dude, she's been out for three outdoor seasons. You think she wasn't going to come out and, and, and put something down? You think the girl is strong? And forget what she's doing on the track. Let's, mm -hmm. We need to know what the hell she's doing in the weight room. <laughs> and that's the question don't, nobody want to ask. Mm -hmm. what, she, what is she doing in the weight room? So when I see people start talking about how oh, she's running too fast, this and the third, you, you don't know her training program. You don't know her program. Stop stop assuming. She's running just fine. She's doing exactly what she's supposed to do. If she go out there, she dropped 21 seconds. Okay. All right. You can't train with fear. If you train with fear, the results are going to be nothing but L's. You have to mm. train. You, you mm. have to train without fear. And believe you me, the coaches get paid to make sure that they keep her on the right path to where she can remain consistent. You and I both know the main thing is consistency. That's what mm -hmm. made all the mother sprinting so damn dangerous. You want her to be able to run 21, 21, 21. You want her to be able to do that. And let's be clear, that's gonna, she's probably not gonna run another individual event until probably conference. She's mm -hmm. gonna be on relay. She's gonna be on relay dudes or she's gonna get shut down. I watched a girl go 50 point on, on the second leg down the floor of relays last week. The girl's ready. Mm -hmm. The girl's ready. So just let her be. Stop worrying about, oh, this and the third, or, oh, the world championships. She ain't gonna do nothing to world championships. All right, to all you people out here who don't understand college athletics, we get paid for the NCAA season. It sounds <laughs> bad, but that's what it says in our contract. Okay, everything after the NCAA championship is a bonus. We don't mm -hmm. see no money for that. We don't see any um 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 any type of newfangled guarantees. No, the ads don't care about that. What did you do at your conference meet and what you do at the national meet? So when she does after she's done with the NCAA season, now it's about her. It's still about her, but let's be clear: if you get if you come in the bottom half of your conference meet. You ain't going to have no coach at the end of the year. They're going to get rid of the damn coaching staff. So people need to understand that. So they have to do what's in the best interest of the program. And they got the best interest of her. But you got to understand where the priority lies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, and, and that's the one thing that I, I had, you know, touched base on the other day on Ray's Take on my Twitter. I was like, at the end of the day, you know, because people, and let's just put it out there. Like, most of the time, collegiate athletes will burn out by, you know, USAs. Like, that's just been tradition. Now, the one thing that I'll say that I think is working in her favor this year is that that gap ain't as long as it used to be. Meaning, soon as NCs is done, you know, back 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 in our day, it was NCs and then after the NCs, you had them the whole month to sit down right. before you even had a chance to, 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 to compete at, at, you know, USA Nationals. Right. So now it's like, she gonna get like a two week shutdown to recover her body, and she right at USA's. And then right. after USA's, they move world champs up. So it's yep. another two three weeks to where yeah. it's very possible that she can sustain. Mm -hmm. Now, here's what I'll say: I'll pick it back off of um what you're saying. It's so it's it's more of the coaches than the program when you start saying, "Oh, they'll burn out, they'll burn out, they'll burn out." No, it's only certain athletes who are just talented at a burnout. I mean, let's let's call it let's call it what it is. How many of Coach Schaefer people burnt out? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like 
This is let's just this is kind of what it is. Or yeah, well, you know what I'm saying? Or coach Stratton people, how, they don't burn out because these coaches understand what they're building. You know right. what I'm saying? So you're going to have one or two that's going to fade away. Most of the time when that happens, that's because you just had a, 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 a talent. You had a talented right. person that was there. Right. You didn't have an actual talented coach. Right. I, for one, you know, when I watch her run, I'm sitting there looking like, y'all, if she, if she, if she, quote unquote, get burnt out, she going to burn out to be in the race. Because right now she's ahead of y'all. Like, like she, right. she's, she's legitimately putting five meters on people. Right. So at any rate, even if you say, oh, she's going to burn out. Okay. Well, that just means she only wins now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I, 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 hands down right now, I'm saying at least in the 200, in the 200, the hundred, now let's just call it what it is. Her start. It ain't what it needs to be. But again, mm -hmm. let's not pretend like Shakari got a great start. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody, you know, when we were watching the race, everybody's like, oh, if she get a better start, she get a better start. Sometimes you don't need that. You know what right. I'm saying? Terry Bowie showed that when she got her silver medal. Sometimes you don't need that. Right. <laughs> Sometimes you just need them wheels. Right. Now, the 100, I'm not going to sit here and say she gonna, she a destined top three for the 100, you know, because that 100 is tricky. You know what I'm saying? It's really tricky. Right. 200 wise, man, I don't see nobody beating that girl at all. I don't. I do not. Like 200 wise, I see her making it through to the world championships. I truly do. Based off right. the timeline, I see her making it. And respectfully, bro, it's still in America. She ain't got to go nowhere. She, she, I still yeah, see her getting a medal now. Like, come on. <laughs> and, and think about this for a second. She doesn't have to go back to Lexington. She can stay in Oregon the yeah. entire time. Yeah, she's in Oregon the entire time, so mm -hmm. she doesn't have to travel back and forth between the, the the time zones. And anybody who's been to Oregon, you've been to Oregon, I've been to Oregon. We know that's one of the worst logistic travels in the United States. It's horrible. Come on, you know. Come on. So she can stay there, and she can stay out there, and she can train, and she can be comfortable. Or look, bring all the clothes that she needs, bring whatever mm -hmm. she got to bring, and then she'll be okay. Um, mm -hmm. but what people really, really, really don't understand. Is that when you're special, like let's let's Come take on. let's let's take this for example. We all knew Walter Dix was special. Sheesh. We all knew Xavier <laughs> Carter was special. Mm -hmm. We knew Gat was special. Mm -hmm. You know, this, we knew Karani, Dude, and, and, and I have personal experience with Karani. Karani, mm -hmm. we knew he was special. There was things that he was doing that had me walk out of practice shaking my damn head. You know what I'm saying? So, so. There's always going to be a special one. You know, Shakari showed mm -hmm. that she was special. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so so the special ones are always gonna 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 rise above all the the quote unquote burnout or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. So so she she's gonna be fine. I mean, though she ran twenty two thirty six into a negative five point six headwind. Now, because I'm reading the comments too, a lot of people you know some people are saying that she peaked indoors you said something that made perfect sense and then you're able to back it up now what is she doing in the weight room because that mm -hmm. weight room is why that wind didn't bother her <laughs> like like if you just look at abby you just watch her run you just watch her body the chances of her breaking down is slim and the reason why is because when i'm looking at it she's moving efficiently Yep. When your body is moving efficiently, it can sustain longer. Your mm -hmm. body breaks down when you're not using it efficiently. I mean, that's anything. And like I try and compare stuff to like cars. Your car gonna break down when it's not operating efficiently. It does not matter. If you need to change those spark plug and you don't change it, eventually it's gonna shut down. But as long as that maintenance is there, it's gonna keep going. Yep. When I'm watching her run and I'm watching her body not do all of this rocking and everything is here, I'm like, bro, she's super strong. So yeah. in order for her to actually quote unquote peak it's almost like it's hard and just me as a trainer you know i understand the body it's almost not she can't really peak if she's staying in the weight room properly now what can happen is the body will get tired meaning i can only give you a 22 -0 on tuesday don't ask me to do it again on wednesday but right. i can still give it to you i'm not gonna right. fall apart right, right now her body looks like that. It looks like, no, I'm not going to fall apart. I just, I may not be able to go round for round for round, but right. if I got to go out there and hit a 22 high and 121, y'all going to get it. 
Or if right. I got to go to a Diamond League meet, you finna catch it. Right. But by the time she gets to summer, that just means I'm tired. My body can't keep doing it. Now I got to stretch it out. But right. I don't see where her body is struggling at to where she don't peaked out yet. I don't foresee she peaked at all. Somebody has said, are you saying that she going to win, you know, outdoor 200? As we always do on Race Tape, I'm going to give you a prediction down there every week. Right now, yeah. Y yeah. But can it change? Possibly. In order for it to change, what has to happen? Y'all got to go look better than she do. <laughs> let, 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 me, let, me, let me give some of the, the audience something. Mm -hmm. Ray, they wasn't at these meets when after we finished running, our phones start ringing. And we hear, yo, Asafa just ran 9-7. And we all looking at each other like, you think them girls out there in Bermuda wasn't like, what? Come on. you Come on, Jack. <laughs> listen, all this stuff where people claim that they you not think worried. You think she didn't put a little fear in their heart? You, if you all think for one second that these <laughs> athletes aren't worried, you're lying to yourself. <laughs> We've been there. We've seen. We oh, see how you react. Dude, tell them again. <laughs> we we could have been the age of a sophomore when a sophomore came on the scene and a sophomore was beating Mo Green. Like, yo, Mo was our hero. Like, bro, who the hell is the Jamaican? <laughs> on us? Who a sophomore? What? Like, damn. I mean, and was looking good doing it too. Every mm -hmm. time one of them drop a time, Mo dropped nine eight. Like, oh shit, Mo done drop nine eight, bro. Like. <laughs> And this is right after the race, too. We on the phone. Yeah. We like, yo, bro, you, you you ain't see what the hell. What? Get, get out of here. And then, and then it starts going <laughs> through the lobby. After the meet's over, we in the lobby. We chilling. Yo, dog, I heard. What's the name? Some new dude from <laughs> you know, from, 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 from freaking Portugal just dropped nine, nine <laughs> ninety. Like, what? what? And then the first thing you do, hold on, man. Let me go try and find this, man. Right. Damn. This the, the, the French, French, French nigga really did French, go nine. Yeah, they're like Francis. What Francis over Francis over Quaylo? Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, mm -hmm. boom! You see this big six foot five, six foot four monster running down the track and just beating everybody. You know, so believe me, they they got the message. They got the and technology is way different now than it was when we was running. Mm -hmm. They got mm -hmm. the message. Trust me. But remember, these girls was running in in the Bermuda meet, and I don't want to get ahead because I know you got your. How you got everything set up, but in the Bermuda meet, so go ahead. Hmm? They 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 had them five point six, they had them four point eight, had them all too. And they <laughs> were running twenty three seconds, scoring twenty two thirty six into a five point six headwind, dude. That is a war record. That is, but you ain't gotta explain to me, bro. You right, don't have to explain to me. <laughs> that's the fastest time ever ran in that strong of a headwind. Come on, in the history of the sport. Come okay? on. It, that is similar to what Michael Johnson did in Tokyo in 91. Mm -hmm. Michael Johnson ran 20 flat into a negative 3.9 headwind at a world championships. And, and look and looked like he 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 was had he had more to go. So you all gotta understand the significance of what she did. You know, and maybe and just for the burnout crowd, maybe that was a blessing for her only run 22-3. Now, now because then you gotta think about it. Okay, she ran 22-3 after doing the 10-9. Mm -hmm. What if it wasn't a headwind? What type of conversation are we having now? <laughs> right. What if it's not a headwind and she get a 1.8 to her back? Right. And the one, let me tell you something. Though, and there's two people that would have to sit back and scratch their head about the, her. It'll be Gabby Thomas, out of respect. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're talking about the pro level. We're talking about mm -hmm. Gabby Thomas and Elaine Thompson. But Elaine Thompson, respect to everyone in that camp, because I love Elaine Thompson. But mm -hmm. Elaine Thompson hasn't shown that she can do it at a, on the world championship stage. Okay, she has no world medals, which is ridiculous to even fathom. But then on the collegiate level, she has somebody to push her. Because remember, she's not the collegiate record holder. A Navy of Battle from Ohio State ran twenty one nine, and she's still ready to go. And you we know we know her coach Joe Brown. Yep. So we know Joe's going to get her ready. So you, you, you're going to see the races of the age. You're going to see the races of the ages, man. So it's going to be it's going to be interesting, man. It's going to be interesting to see. It's going to be very interesting because when you think about the, the ladies who made the 200 last year, mm -hmm. you know, for Dini, you know, Gabby, you know, now you got to sit there and be like, okay, y'all got some new pie coming. Yep. Or y'all... The one thing we got to always say, it ain't with three spots. <laughs> and so 
Or are y'all gonna be ready to hold on to them three spots that these girls are saying we coming for? Who's the world champ? You mean defend the world champ? It was defend the world champ. In the two hundred on yeah. women's two hundred. Uh huh. So that would have to be what somebody in the audience mean? put it in there because it's been yeah, a couple what years. The blank? That's uh, I'm sorry. That's that's unbecoming to me, man. My bad. Both of us, because I can't even remember when the word the last word COVID, man. COVID messed all of us up. I can't even remember when the, what the <laughs> last word champs was at. When was it? Mm. Damn. Dina Asher. Dina Asher Smith. Dina Asher. Dina. Okay. Okay. Yep. okay. Yeah. So it's only three spots. It's only three spots. Mm -hmm. And I mm -hmm. believe the Diamond League winner was from another country as well. So there's only three spots. There ain't but threes going for America in 200 and women's right. 200. Right. So Gabby. You know, we got to give her, we got to give her respect, mm -hmm. um, especially what she did at the Texas Relays and what she also did. Oh, at, Gabby going to be ready. Yeah, yeah. And Tanja, Tanja going to have her crew ready. She definitely going to be ready. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm not worried about that. Right. <sighs> it's going to be tough. Man. And then Brittany, I ain't even, that, but then you know what Brown, I'm loving though? Mm -hmm. What I'm loving is how time has shifted. And what I mean by that is, like, back in, you know, our day, you know, just like you said, you had the Maurice's, you had the, the, the Johans coming out, the boats coming out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you, the Tysons, you know what I'm saying? The Sopples, like, every, the old equators, we can go on and on and on from mm -hmm. 05, no, really from 2000 until 16. Like, men sprinting was, boy, you in front of TV like this right here. Yeah. The sh it, it, it has been a, a major shift to now it's actually the women who yeah. have become, to me, the prime prize to watch now. It's like, the men is like, okay, you know, it's a good race, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, but these women is like, man, what time they come on? <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I mean, just call it what it is, you know, because what they are giving us is actual races. I mean, think about indoor, indoor 60. I mean, come on, right. come on, them six nine, six nine, seven oh, like gun in the bullet. Mm -hmm. Like, when have you ever really been watching female sports to where we've had this many high caliber females to where now it's like a toss up? Like, bro, you really don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like, who gonna get it, right? And then we also got to remember the 2019 200 meter marathon medalist, the young girl from the University of Iowa. Who was run, who was working five jobs had no deal. Last week she ran ten ninety nine. That's ridiculous. She ran ten ninety nine in the hundred. Not even one of her better events. She ran ten ninety nine. So now she's back. On, and you and I both know when you ain't got that real money and stuff like that, it's hard to get on your giddy up because you got to go to work. You got to find kind of. Sleep. Hold on though, I want to ask you something because mm -hmm. you just said something that made me think, and I ain't mean to cut you. I want to ask you something. Do you think? And because I'm, I'm, I'm gonna speak from personal experience too, because you just hit something with me. Right. Do you think that? Because you hear these stories all the time. Do you think that that is what actually makes us run faster? Because we gotta work. And what I mean, work is because because when you say it, I'm thinking about like when I made a team. It's the same story. Like yeah. I was working there. I was working at Dave and Buster's. You know what I'm saying? Busting tables. You know what I'm saying? I was working at the um working on uh, with Coach Hop. You know what I'm saying? So I went and beat the people who wasn't working. But then I realized when I got my money, I was running fast, but I was also getting beat. Do you think that that, that may have a little extra on it to where it's like, if you don't have the money, you are so, I don't even want to use the word hungry no more. I think it's more of a work mentality because you're in a mindset of I have to work. Right. So yeah. everything about you is I got to go to work. So if you go to track practice, your mindset is I got to go to work. Versus right. if you got all the money or you came out of college, this or that, they get your money. You don't understand the concept of what to work for. So do you right. think that that may be a, a, a reason why some of us fall off a little bit once we get the money? Yes. And uh, another reason is you don't have your schedule set up. You're now like a nomad trying to find races. Think about it. In college, everything was set up for you. 
You knew you was going to Florida. You knew you was going to Texas Relays. You knew he was going to have the week off. You knew he was going to go to this big invitational. You knew he was going to have his dual meet. You knew he was going to have his week off. You knew he was going to either go to Drake or Penn. You knew you had that week off. Then you had your conference meet. Everything was set up for you. And then the lack of races, because people tend to get into this mode where, okay, I'm a quote-unquote post-collegiate or I'm a professional, and now I don't have to race as much. So they lose mm-hmm. that they lose that sharpness that all those college races used to give them. That's where a lot of the struggle comes from. On top of the working aspect of it, you know what I'm saying. So, but going back to the hunger part, yeah, dude. If you know you, dude, I I did I did night audit. I did night I, I did I did hotel audit mm-hmm. the entire time I was running, dude. So my I schedule know. was right. My schedule was right. I go I go to work at 11 p.m. Get home at seven o'clock. Oh, it's gonna be seven thirty. Right. Eat something. Go to sleep. Wake up exactly at two forty-five. Practice was at three thirty. I I go work out, lift, go back to the crib. Already got my food made. Eat my food. Sit up for about an hour and some change. Go to sleep. Repeat. So um, so imagine trying to put up times and the most important the most important time of your day as an athlete is nighttime when you're supposed to be asleep. That's when your body mm-hmm. generates. Mm-hmm. I'm, up, mm-hmm. I'm up crunching numbers. I'm up making sure that this this hotel don't go under. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you tell know, me why I remember when you had that job though. <laughs> but, but 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 straight like like and the funny thing is the reason why I got that job I'm like okay I need to cut a cost. Okay, the airline tickets. Look, Duffy and Oren. If there was some meet they were at, they was paying for my tickets to go to wherever I, I need to go to. Mm-hmm. Go. But I'm thinking, okay, if they can't get me the hotel, what's the best way for me to cut course? Work at a hotel. I get the rooms free. Mm-hmm. So you know that that was all strategic, and I did that for I did that for years. After I, after I left the social work realm, I did that for years, and that helped me out. So it, it and that's where the hunger came from, man. And the hunger came from watching y'all, man. Like dude, like watching y'all run and watching y'all put up them times. You know, I'm like, dude, like I'm going to practice a whole new mindset, man. Like, but that's where the hunger, all that contributed to the hunger, all of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me ask you something. Yeah. Because you did mention Duffy and them and all that USA track and field. You know, I love them people. Shout out to them. Yeah, I give them hell, but I'm going to go and say it. I give them folks so much hell, but when they see me, it's so much love. <laughs> hey, listen, man. Duffy, Duffy, a.k.a. the money man. We the always, money man. We always was nice to him because he always had them envelopes for people. <laughs> Before I go into Bermuda, I'm going to give him a little quick story about Duffy. It was 2005. So a lot of people don't know this. So I got two names, right? Ray yeah. Edwards and Monzavius Edwards. So you may not remember this, but what I used to do was I used to enter in track meets, right? And one meet I enter in as Ray Edwards. And another track meet I might enter in as Monzavius Edwards, right? And I was doing this from 2003 already 2005. Yeah. And the reason why I would do it was with Jerry one. Had the better time. <laughs> hey, hey, whichever one had the better time was the person I would be at the track meet. So what happened was I um I bumped into Duffy one year and it was 2005 and I had entered both of my times in. But I'm mm-hmm. young and dumb back then and, and so I didn't understand that I was kicking somebody out when I was doing that. Mm. So we we at USA's. I went hop and then um, Duffy had found it. So he 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 hit hop up. He was like, "Is Ray Edwards and Monzavius Edwards the same person?" And then Hop was like, "Hop, I already knew what I was doing." He was like, "Yep." So Duffy called me down to the room and he was like, "Ray, you can't do this." I'm like, "What you talking about, Duffy? You gonna have to pick a name right now." <laughs> and he said, "You either gonna be Ray Edwards or Monzavis Edwards, because right now we got two athletes in the top thirty-two that's here in USA's, and you both of them, and you kept you kept one athlete from getting in." So my smart ass was like, "Well, shit, Duffy, they must not been fast enough. But I kept kept them out." <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Duffy, why are you complaining about number thirty-three? 
You know, I mean, you know what? You, you know, what made you me pick that. a name. He made me pick a name right then, and I was hot. When I say I was hot, oh, Jack, I was heated. I was like, man, he don't caught on to my shit, man. Because I used to literally do that. Who can get a better lane? Oh, I'm, I'm ready today. <laughs> you know, it's funny because I always wondered why there was always. Because I was looking like, who the hell is going to take What is that? <laughs> I know Ray, because no one knew you, no one knew you by by, by, by your full government. Everyone knew nope. you by Ray. Yep. Nobody knew you by the other name. <laughs> Mark, Mark Lay, man. <laughs> and then W figured that shit out, and W was like, no more. <laughs> no more. I was like, damn. Literally, and then I remember I was talking to Wallace, and Wallace was cracking up because Wallace knew what I was doing. Mm -hmm. And then Wallace was like, man, you can't be doing that, man. You know, somebody else trying to get in. I'm like, I told Wallace, same, I said, Wallace, if they number 32, they shouldn't be here, no way. <laughs> <laughs> that's, hey, that's, true. Hey. that's true. But anyway, mm -hmm. switching gears, this Bermuda track me. Oh, man, so I'm going to let you take off. Tell me how you feel about that whole Bermuda track me. Great concept. Um, I love the fact that they wanted to bring elite track and field to an island such as Bermuda who doesn't see much of any of that type of elite athleticism on the daily or on the weekly or whatever the case may be. The only time they see track and field like that is on TV. Mm -hmm. um, the wind. The wind. They, you listen in this day, and this is 2022. You mean to tell me you could not flip the direction of the wind uh, 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 of the of the races so they're not running into these tornadoes? Well, well, I, I you know, I did my investigation on that, mm -hmm. and no, they cannot. So, anytime that it's an NBC televised meet, and I actually learned this because you know, race take gonna be streamed. Okay. Once I mean, um, the Fred Curly invita invitation gonna be streamed. Okay. Once the camera crew comes and and look at the layout and to see what's the best spot to put the cameras, mm -hmm. once they set, they can't move them no more. Got you. And because of TV time, they don't have the time to move it no more. Got you. So that's why they can't switch it. Got you. Now the smarter question is, I know it's not that accurate, but there's this thing called you know a weather, you know. You know, yeah. weather map. I mean, we all got them on our phone. Yeah. I can find out right now in the next 72 hours what the weather potentially might be like in Dallas. It might not be to a certain to a T, right? But it'll be real close. My problem is so nobody looked at the damn forecast the four days before that and seen that it was gonna be a storm coming in to think, hey, maybe we shouldn't do it this way. Or nobody does the actual research of seeing it's almost like I'm going to have a track meet in Florida during hurricane season. What? Why? <laughs> like, okay. what? It, it's hurricane season. Why would you do that? Like, so for me, having a track meet in Bermuda, yeah, it's all, it, it's perfect for the people, this and yeah. that, but it's in the middle of the, uh, it, we literally ain't like found a million air heart yet. It's right. the airplanes missing from Bermuda. And you want to go hold the track meet in Bermuda? I'm going to say it. That track meet, pun intended, got lost in the Bermuda Triangle because that was a waste of a track meet. What did we get out of that? Now, the one thing we got was, as we always say, as long as the weather is the same for everybody, we can't complain. Whoever wins is who wins. But let's just put it into a real perspective. Like we said about Gabby, if you're not strong enough to run through a wind, it is going to affect you. That's why back in my day, if it was a headwind, oh, I'm crunk. Why? Man, I'm I'm football player. I'm finna yeah. cut through this like it's nothing. Right. Tailwind, mark gone. Boom. I were gone. I said, God damn. <laughs> so, <laughs> so so for me, it was more of I get it, but I'm on a no. I'm just gonna put out there. I mean, you can you can give your 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 soliloquy about it, but for me, it's a complete no. You do not have a track meet in Bermuda because it does no good for the athletes to hold on, I'm going to give you flow but it does no good for the athletes because we still have a clock Right. if you take out the clock have it in Bermuda, why? it's a race now, whoever win, win but when we talking about times and stuff like that, bro I can't have it on my resume Like, and then for fans 
don't nobody want to see that. Like, if you take the clock away, now it's exciting. Like, we don't know what the hell going on. But when you telling us it's a headwind, you you showing us 10 to 4, that ain't exciting no more. Right. And, That's just and, my take on it. And let me, let me drop something on you because I've learned this over the course of the last six months. So when they build a track, they survey the area that they're going to build the track in for a year. Because okay. track of how the wind blows consistently. A rip like Mondo and those guys, they do a really, really, really good job of surveying the area before they put the track down so they un so they understand how to build a track and you know what direction to build the track mm -hmm. in. So the people in Bermuda knew that for the most part, there's always gonna be a headwind on on you know at the common from the common finish line towards the common start line. So they could have made the adjustments. They could have said, look, on the average, the wind is always going to be ahead when we run this way. We might as well run the other way. So that's where the meat screwed up at. That's where the meat mm. screwed up at. And, uh, and honestly, great concept. Great concept. Just, you know, and I don't want to say a bad location because, let's be clear, they brought they brought some money, they brought tourism to, to that area. So I don't want to say that. But I personally would have held the meat in the Bahamas. If you're gonna do something like that, I would have held it where they held the world relays. I would have held the meat in the Bahamas and do something like you really want to give back. You know, you really mm -hmm. want to give back to the Caribbean, but you can't hold it the same weekend last week because that was Jamaican champs. So it, that definitely wasn't gonna happen in Jamaica. So I would I would have done it in the Bahamas or you know somewhere else. You know, Martinique. I don't know if the Martinique track is even still good enough to run on. Anymore. Man, that used to be that used to be the boy, <laughs> boy. What? what? <laughs> That was when you saw okay. Yeah, he's making the team. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. the yeah, every, everybody knew Martinique was gonna tell you it, yep. it used to be two track meets. Martinique Guardo. Texas relays mm -hmm. and Martinique was gonna tell you who's gonna make that team. Yeah. <laughs> Them yeah. two. It, yeah. it don't happen that way no more. It don't happen that way no more. Let me ask you this, because me and Anson be going back and forth about this, mm -hmm. about this no clock thing. How do you feel about if um if it's like there in the in the times won't count, just completely turn the clock off, and just like, well, it ain't gonna count no way. You can't use none of these times. The wind ain't there. I mean, the wind is obviously a factor. We can't use them. Just to turn the whole clock off, and y'all just have fun. Like you have practice now. Ain't no clock. Whoever win, that's who win. Whoever got first one, two, three, that's who win. Mm -hmm. Because again, what what good does any of those readings do for us? Right. Um. I wouldn't necessarily turn the clock off because then the athlete's going to be like, well, then what's the purpose? Even though you could say with the wind, how it was, what was the purpose? But there's always some good that come out of that. I mean, Gabby ran 11-2 into a 4.8. So, so for conversion, for conversion yeah. purpose, you saying, well, now still keep it on. Because just like yeah. how we did Abbott, you know, we, yeah. okay, okay. I can respect that. I can respect that. I can respect yeah. that. Yeah. I'm just a fan of, listen, Jack, listen. You know, and so often, turn that damn clock off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because cause the way I look at it is, if you turn the clock, clock off subconsciously, you almost going back to, like, playground now. You right. feel me? To right. where you almost should be able to relax more because there's no pressure. Mm. It's really just a race. And I know for me, being in the sport, the pressure never came from the people beside me. Right. The pressure came from what is this clock gonna say? Right. Where is it gonna put me at in the world rankings? Where mm. is it gonna put me at on my? Am I gonna hit my contract times? I don't give a damn about y'all. <laughs> like, I, like my pressure is coming from what is this clock gonna say? Right. So if they if there isn't a clock, and that pressure ain't there, the question becomes: Do we have better races now? You know. If it's one or two, you know, to where it's like it's known, like, hey, ain't no clock gonna be at this race. It's a straight street race. This is what it is. Like, it ain't gonna count to it nothing. It's pretty much exhibition. Take it yeah. back to that. Yeah, but you know, but you know, the times is like the it's the nucleus of of this sport. You mm -hmm. know, you know, mm -hmm. those numbers that come up on that board, it 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 means I get a bonus. Yeah. Or or I gotta go back to practice and try harder. You know. Yeah. So. <sighs> That's I mean, and, and 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 the clock also gives you the the wow factor 
you mm-hmm. know, because that's what it really does is like, wow. But at right. the same time, it can also give you that depressing factor like, oh, damn, that what I ran? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I look at it because, you know, you know me, I like to compare a lot of stuff to boxing. Like, okay, they do have points or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But the same token is like, well, you kind of just got beat up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that's why the point said, you know, the score say what it say because you got beat up. It didn't have nothing to do with your performance, though. You feel me? Right. As right. in, like, your hand speed went fast enough. So that's why, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, when you look at other sports, it's like, uh, I just say, like, like boxing. It's a W or an L. It ain't got, it don't put, well, W, you know, because, you no, know, it's a W or an L. So for me, it's like, I just want to see a couple races that's a W or an L. And right. it's not, it's not, it's, it's not a clock involved. And for me, I feel like, now it's going to sound strange, and I want to get your take on it too, but I feel like all races are good to be clocked except for the World Championship and except for the Olympic Game Finals. At that point in time, I believe, cut the clock off. Just cut the whole damn clock off. And just cut it off. Why? Bro, we're here now. <laughs> Where you were trying to get to, you're here. All those times you was looking on the scoreboard, everything that your, that your agent wanted, your shoe company, your coach wanted to see, is for what? To get you to this moment. Okay, so we're at this moment. Don't turn off the photos, though. Like, you know, like me and Anson, what Anson was talking about when I was talking to him. Keep your photo finished because it might be close. But cut the clock off. Cut See, it off. You, you, you are, and I, I've heard you say this many a times. You got to beat me. Don't matter if you got the fastest time in ever. That's it. You got, to, you got to beat me. So I, I, I see what you are alluding to. It's the world championships. The hell with the clock. <laughs> Be prepared. Everyone's, everyone's ready. Everyone's ready to go. Everyone's wired up to go. Okay. Now the eight, the eight men who went through the rounds. You know those who ran three. Some mm-hmm. runs four. Now I wish they go back to the four rounds again because that's when you really see who's really training, who's not. Yeah. Okay. You 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 go back, you know, you line up and the fastest man win. And the funny thing is, I think if the clock is not there, you may see you you might see a little bit more relaxation. Like ain't yeah. so 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 let let's use let's use psychologically, let's use a soft power. If there was no clock there, I think a soft would have probably won more titles than he did. That's just that and, and that's just me personally. I think I think I disagree. But keep going. Oh, <laughs> okay. I mean, I, I'm I'm looking at something that would give give him the pressure because you know you go in there and, and let's let's be clear, they can be like, yo, you got nine seconds to win and this and the third and blah 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 and yada yada. Well, yada. I don't, I don't want to cut you off, but that's what I think gave us off of the pressure. What's the races? It wasn't the clock. Cause think about okay. it, bro. I don't win sub 10 50 something times. Like the clock don't do nothing for me. Like I I went sub 10 more than anybody. But yeah. when I line up beside these people, I can't get a medal. Oh, they ain't the clock then. That's that's you really are afraid yeah. of these people. Fair like more. you can't beat them. Fair, fair <laughs> like more. you know, I but think that for also, him, but that also mm-mm. brings that also brings the intrigue that you that you were saying. Like if you just turn the clock over, Safa go Safa went into every meet. And, and and I'm sorry, look, I don't care what anybody say Safa was not the favorite in 04. Okay, he was hot. He was no, he was definitely not a favorite in 04. He, he was Mm-mm. not a favorite in 04. Mo Hell was, no. Mo was, no, Crawford was the favorite in 04. Crawford was the favorite in 04 to win both of them, the one yeah. and the two. Yeah, because because people tend to forget Gatlin only won two races in 04. Yep. He won two races. The Olympic yep. trials and some and some off and some off brand meet. I mean, yep. not the Olympic trials, the Olympic games and some off and some off brand meet. You know what I'm saying? Mo, Asafa, and, and, and Crawford was winning all the races. Europe yep. and, and, and domestic. Yep. Nobody had get counted to win that, that Olympic final. When he won the final, we all was like, damn, okay. Right, right. So, yeah, but you you, you know what? I can't even argue you down. You right about the software, bro. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, you got it. You got it. I can't even argue you down. Man. You got that one. You got it. Hey, people like that, you know, like, I respect the hell out of a software. I do. And because of Safa's technique and stuff was so flawless, it gave him those times because he didn't have to race. But when you got a race, sometimes it's like, 
Bro, sometimes you you know this. Sometimes you got to abandon technique. Like, oh, fuck it. I'm at 45. Eight, nigga. Come, come on. <laughs> it's gone. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm-hmm. Obe- uh, I just feel like he didn't have that in him. He didn't have that actual race in him. Like, I'm Take going to back. win today. Take it back. Take it back to the schoolyard day. Take like, it back know. to the schoolyard. Like, I going. know I'm the technician, right. but I would abandon this thing and go straight street racing on y'all to get to this medal. I feel like, again, using somebody like Tori Bowie. Tori Bowie showed that, like, when she got her medal, bro, yeah. that's straight Mississippi running. Like, uh, damn that technique. Boy, I'm here to get a medal. Mm-hmm. I'll go with Endo, uh, Mary Beth. Same thing. Damn it, I'm here to get a medal. Yeah. I feel like that was the only thing that Asafa was missing. He just didn't have that because he was so perfect. It's like, bro, you don't ran two rounds perfect. These ninjas are gone. You better, you better go. Right. <laughs> like, right. You ain't got time to stick to the race pattern all the way down. They gone, Jack. You better find a gill. I just feel like that was why he couldn't really show up at championships because when you get to that finals, it ain't about that clock no more. It ain't about that right. time. It's right. about that hardware. It's about when his gun go off. I'm I'm gonna try the best I can to stick to what I've been taught. Right. <laughs> when they go and go off, oh, right. I, I gotta go, man. I gotta go. So I, I think I think he uh I think that was one of the things that he he missed on. He, yeah. he missed on that. Now I gotta say something before we get to the to the comments because I ain't gonna keep you all night because I know they're over there. But this one thing I got to say, mm-hmm. Indo, USA indoors. Yeah. I had to come back on my Twitter and I had to tell you. You was right. <laughs> you literally told all of us how it was going to finish out. And we was like, nope, no, it ain't. <laughs> no, it ain't. And you was like, watch. When I say finish out from top to bottom, tell me if you can remember back, what made you, how did you do that? G- give me, give me, just do that. Go. The floor is yours. What the hell, made? How did you do that? How did you okay. do that? Because I was wrong. Okay. So, one, Break Marvin Bracey's coach has known me since I was 19 years old. Mm-hmm. Spoke to speak to him all the time. Um, hell, he came to my apartment and did a recruiting visit, you know, to recruit one of my roommates, you know what I'm saying? When we was in JUCO. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I listened to you and you said, you know what, them two years off was gonna somehow catch up with Coleman. But then I'm watching Jacobs. Have you watched any of his videos? I've watched all of them. You know okay. I have. Okay. <laughs> so you see how he pushes into the track? Like, tell me the last time you see anybody execute a start that damn near flawless, man. I mean, flawless. And so I'm looking at I'm looking at this, and I say, you know what? Breaking everything down, watching USA's, watching some of uh, Jacob's races overseas. I said, Comey's gonna get second out of respect. I mean, dude, the man ran the man ran six thirty four. I got I, I can't not medal him. I said, Bracey's lack of races is gonna catch up to him, and Jacob's got something to prove. Mm-hmm. And that's how I came. That's how I came up with the picks. Nothing, nothing fancy. That's how I came up with the picks. Just watching videos and. I said, hey, this is what's going to be. And I'm watching another thing. Watch how Jacob's form never broke. Nope. Never. Never breaks. Never breaks. Who jumped out on him? And what I saw one race, some, I, think it was, I think it was Mike. Mike must have jumped out on him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and there was no, if you look at the, uh, if you, you look at the view from the finish line to the start line and they showed the head on, the head on view, everything was going this way. It wasn't, it wasn't out this way and then going forward. He kept his composure. He kept everything in line. Something that we've all tried to do mm-hmm. many, many of times. And mm-hmm. he did it efficiently and he did it consistently. And I was like, yeah, he's going to win. And that's how he, and that's he got how. one of the best tunnel visions I've seen since Maurice. Boat. That's, 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 Boat didn't even have a tunnel vision that he got. Because you can watch some races of boat head on. You can see his eyes go like like move, yeah. like looking up like that's not tunnel vision. You know right. what I'm saying? Like oh, nah. his tunnel vision is <laughs> now, yeah, exactly. I wonder if his tunnel vision comes from the fact that he's never been like that 
sprinter who right. you picked. So he's one of those people to where it's like, I'm just here to do everything I got to do. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. You know, like, because I think when I think back about his career, it's like, he ain't been no NJCAA 100 meter champion, no NCAA 100 meter champion, no, none of that. You know what I'm saying? So I wonder if his composure is the fact that he's not full of himself. Because, like, we, most brothers, we full of ourselves. Like, bro, we can go to the street right now. What you want to do? Right. And I think that competitive nature also takes our focus away sometimes. Right. I wonder if it's because of that, it's like, I'm just tunnel vision because I'm just here. And that's it. <laughs> like, literally. Like, literally, because, you know, when I was talking to Marvin, you know, Marvin was telling me the same thing. He was like, man, that dude, like, it's almost like he a little kid when he win. You know, he come congratulate everybody and be asking, like, how, how did you feel? Like, how was it when you ran? Right. It's almost like, like, to me, like, he don't know he is who he is. He still thinks he is who he is, if you understand what I'm trying to say. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm just, yeah. yeah, I'm just a long jumper he, that came into the hundred. He's, 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 he's still training and running and acting like he's still number two. Yeah, there it is. Exactly. That's One thousand percent. That's, that's exactly what, what it is. That's, that's exactly what, what it is. He train and, and he compete like he's number two. And let me tell you something. He gonna win that hundred at Worlds. His own video. Well, you answered the question before I was about to ask. Cause my next question was about to ask you was gonna be, do you feel like um I was going, you know, because everybody like to be Christian Coleman fans, and I'm a Christian Coleman fan with both of them. But I was about to ask you, do you think he, he gonna beat CC? But you just answered that question by saying, I think he's gonna win the world championships outdoor. And I'm, now, and I'm, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you why, because you have told everybody why. You've been saying it for months. The two years off hurts. <laughs> okay, you've been saying Man, it. Let me pull up. <laughs> you've been saying it. Let me pull up another it, shot. It, it's, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of how we all may love watching the guy run, dude. One, he breaks. Two, his technique goes to crap. The last four, and that's no knock on his coaches. Some people they just that's mm -hmm. just what happens. But mm -hmm. Jacobs remains composed the way he mm -hmm. remains composed. It, it's 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 gonna be a problem, and I think mm -hmm. and, and honestly, honestly, the person they might need to worry about is, is is that is that is that goddamn uh that 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 damn uh android um named Fred Curly. Listen, Fred Curly. listen, listen. <laughs> okay, Did, me and you on the same wavelength because I was just waiting for you to drop the name out because I already knew who you were gonna say. I was like, yeah, all right, I already know who you been to say next. <laughs> listen, <laughs> I, listen, he he puts out he puts out a a, a, a message. Hey, I plan on running. The hundred, boy, it's gonna be a lot of sad faces. <laughs> hey. oh, that, dude, that was a time, dude. That was that that was a time trial run that he did down in Miami. Yeah, he he wasn't putting forth no real effort. He cruised nine ninety nine. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So so mm -hmm. right now, I know. Look, we all know what Curly is trying to do, and I hit him up one time, and I said, "Dude, you realize that you are on the precipice of becoming." World number one in the hundred because he was world number one in the hundred, right? Yep, he was world number one, he was world number one in the quarter. Mm -hmm. He could become world number one in the 200. No man in track and field has ever had world number one rankings in all three sprint events ever, ever. And that man wants to create history in every facet of the world. Believe mm -hmm. you me, mm -hmm. he is whatever event he's going to pick, it's gonna be problems. <laughs> if he decides. To jump back in that hundred. Look, Kung Fu Kenny, love the kid. Love him. Love him. Baby, mm -hmm. go back to the quarter. Because it's going to be a call. And listen, you, you, Ray, you can speak to everybody. I don't know why. Nobody believes you. You don't make that team. You know what happens as a Nike athlete. Mm. You, you know what happens. Okay. Nike don't give a damn about that 200. Boy, they want you in the pre. They the don't. Event, the premier event for Nike is what? The 15 and the damn hundred. Yep. <laughs> okay. Yep. So guess what? So so guess what you need to focus on. You better make the team, and the, and, and and you ain't you ain't no telling which one of these college kids is gonna probably have a great moment and sneak up, you know, and do something. You think you think that Michael Williams kid ain't ain't ain't, ain't get up, dude? The U NCAA's USA's in the World Championships isn't in his backyard. He ain't got the mm -hmm. leader form. 
He ain't got to leave his dorm room or or, or his apartment. He, could, bro, he's motivated. So I'm just saying. I'm gonna tell y'all what's on Fred, man. You know, because you know I'm I'm like the one of the official spokesperson for Fred Trayvon all. I can tell you what's on Fred's mind. I talk to him all the time. Mm-hmm. What's on Fred's mind is three things. All right, forty-two. That's on his mind. Right. Getting the biggest contract in history for he a track athlete. It. He deserves it. Which is which is it's very close to about to happening, and being the fastest man in the hundred meter dash. So I can answer your question right there. Uh, yeah, he going for that hundred. Okay. He wants to make sure that he do all of it though. Forty two, I'm gonna run forty two. I'm just gonna do that somewhere and get the record. Right. Two hundred, I'm gonna do enough to make sure number one. I want that. I want that title of the world's fastest man. I asked Fred last year. You know, um, when when he was doing all this stuff, I was like, "Bro, what what are you trying to do? Like, what are you trying to accomplish? Like, what's your main goal? Like, that's my whole thing. What's the main goal?" He was like, "Fred is not dumb by no means. When I say no means, like, he might don't talk a lot. He might talk slow, but Fred, one of the most smartest people I've ever talked to. Mm-hmm. He know what he doing. He know what he going after. He literally told me he was like, Ray." You know, in this sport, you ain't nobody if you ain't the fastest man. <laughs> and he right. <laughs> like, if, he if, right. If, if I had to put if I had to put my money on this, and I want everyone in the comments to pay very close attention, because you're talking to somebody who, who studies the sport. If you're, if you're USA, USA all day, put your money on Fred Curley to win the 100 meters. That's right, trials? What the hell with the trials? The, the trials in worlds. Well, if, 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 you're, I'm if, you're, like this. if you're USA, if, I'm, I'm saying if you're if you're not one of those guys who would look at a foreign athlete and say, hey, he has a chance to win. If you're not if you're not unbiased, you know, and all you can see is your biasness. I would say put your money on Fred Curley because you have to understand what we saw him do in Miami. Mm-hmm. That's all I needed to see. I don't need to see Fred run no more. I know what he's gonna do, okay. I know what he's gonna do, dude. It, it, the, it, the crazy part about it, the man literally had a time trial by himself in the four hundred ran forty four forty seven. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's different, man. He's different. I think here's what I think is gonna happen. Now y'all can call me crazy as everybody really do. Everybody like to do. I, listen, y'all, listen. I know people like to call me crazy, and then this is how Ray's take got on, because last year I did a, a, a show right t- yesterday about Shakari and, you know, my predictions and everything, so I got to go out there on a limb again. I'm just going to do what I do. I don't foresee CC making his team in the top three. I'm just going to be honest. I don't. Who who you got? I got Fred in it. Mm-hmm. I got Marv in it. I got Trayvon in it. Now, here's my reasonings, though. All right? Mm-hmm. Hear me out. I can only base it off of me being what I like to call an expert. I'm looking at your technique, your knee ash. We can't sit here <laughs> and we can't sit here and deny, and it's no hate, it's no shade. We can't sit here and deny that all season, when we watched him come back this year, he fell apart after like 50. Right. Okay? Now, right. we also can't sit here and say that his entire career, that's that hasn't been his M.O. He fades at the end. He does. But he's, so, he's been so fast out the hole, it don't matter at the end. Right. Like, if you can go 6-3. Y'all don't catch me. I'm going to fade, but I'm gone. Right. I think what's happening now is he don't have that six three getaway, which is what we saw at Indoor Worlds, which is what we also saw at um Melrose with Trayvon right there. Right. Now, if I'm basing off of this straight technique, not names, not nothing, I'm just looking at it. I can't discredit these guys who actually look ready. You right. feel me? Right. I can't discredit them and say, okay, we're going a full hundred. And they got time to go through their transitions and everything. 
CC ain't the old CC that could put 10 meters on people and hold it. Right. He only put in two or three now. Again, right. let's just call it what it is. If if um if he loses indoor 60, which he did to Lamont, mm. and he was out, and even Bracey was closing at 60, he going to get faster. He going to get better. But technically, he's still behind. And it's those two years that hurt him. He yeah. got to get back into that race, into that 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 that, that race shape. Right. So for me to sit here and say he gonna come off for of two, like I kept saying all year long, for me to say he gonna come off for of two years, have a season, and then jump in front of all these guys who look ready now, and right. he don't even look ready, I can't be that ass of nine. I'm just being honest, like bro, I can't do that. <laughs> like I can't. I'm an actual trainer. I'm an actual coach, just like you are. Like I'm looking at it like. No, he 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 don't look as good as the rest of them. Now he just as fast. Right. That's the that's the beautiful part of it. Like now he just as fast. Right. But he will make a mistake, and his mistake is what it cost him against the rest of them in USA's. Now, because now, like you say, Fred and them going yeah. Fred gonna come. Yeah. Marvin and, and Marvin and Trey. Excuse me. Marvin and Trey gonna be right there with him. Right. So now you can't fall apart 10 meters. They right beside you. And Fred coming. I see him fading and getting fourth. Now, the thing that's gonna the thing that's gonna save what's gonna save Trayvon is he has a buy. His mm-hmm. buy his buy still counts. And so he has the opportunity to make the error, but I really don't think he's gonna be able to come back. Mm-mm. And and because think about it, what's gonna hurt those guys? Mm-hmm. The schedule of the world championships. There is no diamond league meets to get yourself ready. You know, so you're not you're not gonna come off of USA's and go fly overseas to go catch a race and then come back and no, that that's crazy. You're not gonna do mm-hmm. that. Mm-mm. You're not gonna do that. You're gonna go back home, you're gonna train, and you're gonna get ready for the biggest race on American soil since the '96 Olympics. Mm-hmm. You know, so so you you might be right. Like he gonna be on the team, yeah. But you know, does he show up to the finals? I you you and I both know. You and I both know. Ain't all these guys who have buys that run two rounds and all of a sudden they sit out the finals. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not I'm I'm, I'm not really concerned. Tra- I, think. I can tell you that Trayvon ain't Trayvon ain't ducking. He going oh. through the whole thing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's oh, not yeah. ducking. He going through oh, yeah. the entire thing. And, the, and literally. And here and here's my dark horse. And people may laugh at this, but I'm gonna say it right now. And Ray, you have a great appreciation for this. I don't think people understand the significance of Noah Lodge running 655. I really don't think people understand the significance of that. Well, I had Noah getting second in Bermuda behind behind Bracey. I was it was a toss up for me. I was like, it's either gonna be Noah or it's gonna be Marvin. For that same reason, but keep going, keep going. Right, and so, and so, with him being able to run six fifty five, and him finally addressing the things that was going on behind the scenes, mm-hmm. and me being able to see him practice for three days when I was down in down in uh, Orlando mm-hmm. for um for for my convention, dog, I know what the hell I saw. He, okay. You can go with <laughs> hey. Yeah, you if, can if go I, with what you saw. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go with what I heard come out of his mouth, and what I mean by that is that uh, it was a um a little interview he had after like New Balance or some one of the track meets, and then they was asking him, you know, you know, you've been working on sixty and this and that, and I'm just gonna paraphrase what he said. I realized what I was doing wrong. I went and worked on that. Um. I'm still on the drawing board fixing some stuff. That's the worst thing you can have. That's Tom Brady. And I think track folks don't get that. When an athlete sit down and start looking and watching, looking at film, learning stuff, analyzing stuff, oh, you got to take them serious now. Why? Because right. he's not sitting here saying, yeah, me and my coach, you know, we're working on this. He's saying, oh, no, I sat and watched some videos. I understand some new stuff. And, you know, I'm learning more about front side mechanics. The minute, because I'm going to call it what it is, because race take, 
year anniversary. If you go back and look at every race take around this time last year, I had Noah at either seventh or last in every right. hundred. Literally. Yeah. Now I'm like, yeah. oh no, bro. Now right. I, respectfully, I gave him second for Bermuda. He got third, but I'm like, you can't discredit people when they got the talent and then they go work at something and they was already good. And then mm-hmm. the thing you gotta say about Noah. Noah is the one person on this planet that I can literally say is not afraid of Christian Coleman whatsoever. I'm not saying the rest of them are either. I'm not saying that either. I'm not respectfully. I'm not saying none of them are. Right. But for a fact, that dude ain't scared of nobody. Literally, he ain't. He he, he ain't scared of nobody. So do I think he can make top three in a hundred? No. And the only reason why is because of the other people that's in it. Right. Right. Do I think that? He in that top five now? Oh hell yeah! I cannot. I can't name five people that can beat Noah Lyles based off what I seen in his sixty and based off what I heard him say out his mouth. I can, right. I'm not finna. I can't. I can't name five people that gonna beat you. Right. It, so it, this this is probably gonna be the most intriguing hundred meter U.S. finals we've ever seen. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. You, like, like I don't think people. There's a lot of stories gonna be wrapped up in this one. A lot of right. stories. Right. So you got, regardless of how people may feel, Ronnie Baker nine eight, okay. No allows nine eight. Okay. Christian Coleman nine seven. Uh, Trayvon nine seven. Um, Marvin Bracy. Oh, eight. hold on. Correction. I thought so. I I had to make sure that 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 we we corrected that. Trayvon ain't got the buy. Coleman got the buy. No, Coleman got the buy. Yeah, Coleman got yeah, the buy. Yeah, Trey got Coleman to go all the way through. Yeah, Coleman got the buy. Shout and out to Trey. Got... Shout out to, to Trayvon for always being a raised tech supporter and making sure that we corrected that. <laughs> Kenny, Kenny has nine eight. Fred, not bro, like, like dude. If all well, I don't know about Kenny nine eight, but I did get Kenny the two hundred. No, 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 no. I'm saying no. I'm talking about making the hundred meter final. If if the hundred meter final. If, oh, if, okay, if okay. Eight top guys. Make the final. Mm-hmm. This is gonna be this hundred meter final can be the fastest hundred meter final we've ever seen. Better than 09. I'm a I'm a I'm a granddad for sure. I'm a granddad for sure. You know, better than 2012, you know, better than 2012 Olympics, better than 09 Berlin. This is gonna be the fastest hundred meter final we've ever seen. And I hope and I hope all of them make it healthy and they mm-hmm. can go out there and put on the show because this right here, this race right here is gonna be the race for the ages. Mm-hmm. I really, I honestly, got I think maybe one cow's kick can sneak in, but he has a slim chance, Mm-mm. slim to none. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> you got, got, I mean, think, think about it. You got you got Cravon, who if he's doing what he's supposed to do, can probably slip into the finals. You got mm-hmm. Kyrie King, who can slip into the finals. Okay. Well, you, you got, got some people. You got some people in the comments saying Knighton. How you feel about that? Arian, Arian Knighton, Arian Knighton. People got to remember this. It's easier to run the 200 fast because a lot of that speed endurance, but you gotta remember that type of speed comes with man. You need a man body. Thank you. Say it again. Man <laughs> body. Remember, remember, he's still a baby. He's still a baby. Okay. That 200 is a whole lot easier to be successful in than the hundred. That hundred mm-hmm. needs to work in that weight room. And if you look at his, Boy. You look at his body, his body's smooth. His body's still smooth. He has no real definition yet. You know what I'm saying? He ain't like like when Tyson came out and Tyson was still ripped and all that stuff. You know, it, it's give him time. He shouldn't. He's gonna run the hundred, but let's be honest, he's not gonna really do any real damage in the hundred. He no, he's not. Him. He's not in that. He's not in that 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 class of the people that we're speaking about. Right. He's 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 going to be for yeah. sure without yes. a doubt. It may be even better in the future, but. As of right now, today, he's not in that class with Trayvon. He's not no. in that class with Fred. He's not in that class with Marvin. He's not in that class with Christian Coleman. He's just not there yet. He's not in that class with Noah. Not in nope. the hundred. Nope. Not in the hundred. Two hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in the hundred, yeah, we can't not even. Yet. We can't put him. In, we can't put his name in the pot just no. yet. Talking about getting him there with these boys because again, that hundred, just like you know, yeah, it's about speed, but it's also about also about technique, technique. and talent. And you're talking about the U.S. Finals, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> not no, not look here. It's been said the Olympic Games, World Championships, Finals, easier than the American Finals. And you were 100 correct. And this year is going to prove it. 
this year gonna show. Nah, bro, you ain't ready. <laughs> like, like I done been in some finals to where it's like, oh man, I know I sneak filth. You know what I'm saying? I, I'll make the relay. Right, and, and, and that's what I'm trying this to tell year, people. Boy, and, this, and this one thing I'm trying to tell people, like people get we 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 get we get a new toy, a new phenom, and all of a sudden, oh my god, he gotta do this, gotta do that. Dude, y'all don't understand genetics, bro. He has to get stronger. Okay, if he can't power clean a certain amount of money, if he can't and he if he can't squat and deadlift and he can't put that to the track, then what are we doing? Let the boy let the boy grow some pubes before we start throwing him in the honey. Hey, when they started asking me about him, I'd be like, oh, he in he in math class right now. Like, come on, y'all. Let him grow up a little bit before we start putting right. him in the in, in the mix of, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've always said, I feel like that's a little disrespectful mm -hmm. to the ones that's actually doing it. To where it's like, why are you even putting his name in the same conversation with Coleman and, 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 and Trayvon and the rest of them? Like, let him earn that. Just because you own the track with these people, don't mean you earn the right to be in the conversation. Again, I'm going to use myself. Just because I was in the race with Maurice Green put his shoes out, don't mean that I deserve to be in the conversation of, oh, he could probably beat Mo. No, mm. ninja, I can't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, no, I no. Don't put me in that conversation. Don't set me up for that failure. <laughs> right, right. So, right. But anyway... Man. Let's oh. get to these folk comments anyway. Since since we since we, we here, we've been on here. Yeah, yeah, that's why I knew it. Anytime Ray take take off, it go longer than it's supposed to be. But it, it is whatever. Let's get over these comments because I've been kind of glancing over here and they've been saying some crazy stuff over here. So I, I'm looking at what 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 Rebel just said. Knight and his talented. He had no drive phase. Still beat Noah. He ran like Tory Bowie in 2019 World Championship. Okay, I'm gonna answer that like this here because I think he's talking about Bermuda. All right. Again, when you're talking about stuff like that, come on, y'all. Right. Noah is working on stuff. He's going through the phases. Knighton is still 17. All he knows is gun go off. I'm gonna run fast. That's it. Oh. Like, like oh. just maturity hasn't gotten there yet. Right. So yeah, he may have ran down Noah or whatever and got this and that. But do you think Noah is focused on that? And, no. And 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 for the person who asked that question, do you understand what type of physical strength you need to gain in order to have a successful drive phase? Mm -hmm. So y'all to see, see y'all to see people do it over the course of the last mm -hmm. twenty-two years, and y'all think it's easy. Sit mm -hmm. down with John Smith and Come have him explain to you what you got to do before you start learning how to do that thing. Come on, man. And when when, when we had to go to the bleachers and we had to do them drive phase. Walk up the bleachers and your legs and you shaking. You got stripper legs and you shaking and you got to develop that lower that lower extremity strength in in, mm -hmm. in in different positions. It's so many things that you got to put in place before you understand how to efficiently and effectively mm -hmm. do a drive face. Why you think? Ask Otto Bolden about about him teaching uh, Brianna Williams how to do the drive face and he'll break it mm -hmm. down the same way. Y'all mm -hmm. got, got, got to pump the brakes, man. Pump the brakes. What's the other question you got on there, man? I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, well, hold on, hold on. I gotta attack something because all the time I gotta attack what somebody just said. Let me scroll back up and call them out because for some reason, I mean, I went through the same thing last year with Shakari and everybody. They called me the hater. So, where yet? Somebody just it might have been LB, but oh yeah. Excuse me. Ooh, excuse me. That's my drink. CC was injured half an indoor. He's gonna beat Lamont. Y'all sleep. Okay, I'm, 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 and then somebody, had, oh, and my boy E Dub, shout out my boy E Dub. He said, "Ray, stop hating on my guy CC." All right, I'm gonna address both of that real fast. Okay, he was injured. First of all, I'm gonna address both of them. One, it's not hating if I can back it up. Right, it's not hating when I said, "Hey, he he almost lost at Melrose. He fell apart in the last ten. He, he better fix that before he get beside somebody like Lamont." Right? That's what mm -hmm. I said at the mill rolls. Yep. What happened when you got beside Lamont? He didn't fix it. That ain't hating. It's not hating. That's reality. He didn't mm -hmm. fix it. What I tell y'all. Again, here we go again. If he, he ain't gonna make it. Why? Because of what I'm seeing. I gotta explain something to track people real fast. I'm gonna let you get the flow back. <laughs> if I'm watching, I like Tom Brady. Right. If I'm watching Tom Brady, my favorite quarterback, and he coming out the, the offseason, and he missing passes. 
I don't give a damn if it's Tom Brady. Tom Brady ain't connected. I'm not going to say Tom Brady going to Super Bowl. Right. No. You're going to have to show me that old Tom Brady before I say you going to win the Super Bowl. Because right now, bro, you missing. And mm-hmm. I, I'm not just a, a, a fan like that. I'm like, I'm an analyst. You're missing those passes so we can't say you're going to win the Super Bowl. CC, you're not finishing your races. So I can't say you're going to beat people that's finishing. <laughs> like That's asinine for, for people to even expect me or you or anybody to say that. It's not hating. It's reality. Right. It's like, no, bro, if you was the old CC, it's a different conversation. You're not showcasing the old CC. So, no, we're not, oh, me at least. I'm not hating. I'm literally using expertise in the art of sprinting to say, if he don't fix that, he's in trouble. And it don't like he can fix it yet. That's the first thing. Mm. Second thing is, CC was injured. Okay. Don't y'all know Trayvon was injured last year when he ran USA's? If he's injured, why did he go to the World Championships? Come on, I don't want to talk about all that. Because oh, okay. <laughs> these folks, they were deep. I just like to play crazy with these folks. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he was injured. No, he wasn't. No, no, he wasn't. <laughs> no, he wasn't. Injured means I can't perform. Right. That's injured. Injured means I can't perform. Hurt. Injured means I'm withdrawing uh, from the meat. Thank you. Hurt. Oh uh, shit, we all hurt, Jack. What you mean? Shit, we all out there with some. We got to right. talk about him somewhere. <laughs> See, when you line up, you ain't injured. You hurt. That's the right. difference. You better, you better. What Doc Patton used to say all the time, Ray, I'm finna give y'all 100% of this 80% body. Mm. Mm. <laughs> we all hurt. All right. of us hurt. Right. If you injured, you don't compete. But right. anyway, I just want to just go on that. What else uh, these uh, folks talking about over here? Uh, um, um, you know, the funny thing is, a lot of people are so caught up in patriotism that they can't look at this from a unbiased eye. People got to understand if you watch CC from 65 to 100, he starts running behind him. Very much so. He starts running behind. And I know it's because I know they do wicked drills that work on front side. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Honestly, we can sit here and celebrate the fact that he ran 976. That was the ugliest 976 I've ever seen. It's ugly. It's ugly. It's ugly. Mm-hmm. And, and hold on, is- hold on. Holly Legion, because I'm reading. There is a difference again. Mm. She says Coleman was very much injured prior to nationals. I doubt he was 100% in Belgrade. Y'all can stop speaking on, brother. Injured and hurt are two different things. There's this thing that's called sports, right? I don't know if y'all try to understand what it is. <laughs> but if you go to a different sport like football, basketball, right. they have a, a list that says injury report. Yep. These people aren't playing. <laughs> Why? They're on the injured list. You may see probable. You may see game time decision. You may see uh, we'll let you know later. That's hurt. If you use the term injured, then you don't play or compete at all. No, he wasn't injured. At all. He wasn't injured. He was hurt. A strained muscle is not an injury, people. It's not. <laughs> it's not. An injury is my hamstring is it just came off the bone. Johan Bay had an injury. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's an injury. He, he ain't recovered since. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on, Jack. These folks don't understand the difference between me. Because you're a coach. And I'm sure you say, hey, are you injured or are you hurt? Right. There's a complete difference between being injured and being hurt. Okay, mm-hmm. off of that. What else over here in these comments? Y'all ain't overlooking Michael Williams, are you? How you feel about my, Michael? Michael Williams. How do I feel about him? I yeah, because somebody said y'all uh George Logan said y'all ain't overlooking Michael Williams, are you with a question mark? I mean, I we mentioned him that if there's gonna be one collegiate that can probably break it would up, be him, it would be him. We mentioned him. Um, does he stand a chance? Uh no. Um <laughs> 
no. You like like you have to understand. Okay, I don't think right. People don't understand what what's happening here. Let let let's, let let's play let let's play conspiracy joint here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who sponsors the United States Track and Field Federation? Nike, right? Okay. <laughs> Nike was founded where? <laughs> University of Oregon, right? Okay. Mike is not a pro. Mike is not a pro. Mike is a collegiate athlete. Okay. These guys, mm -hmm. they got to eat. Okay. Mm -hmm. For those of you who don't know how Nike works, if you think for one second they're going to let those kids take their spot, okay. I would, I'm not going to mention the person's name. Some one of Nike's top athletes got hurt mm -hmm. in the 2012 trials. I'm just going to pull my cup while you and talk. Got <laughs> His contract slashed, and this man <laughs> will go down as one of the greatest long sprinters, okay, in, in in American history, and got mm -hmm. his contract slashed, mm -hmm. okay. We're not running for scholarships. Them guys ain't running for scholarships. They not. So guess what? As much as we respect the young buck. And one thing about me, I do not, I never would disrespect a collegiate athlete because I'm a collegiate coach. I would never disrespect a collegiate athlete. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you right now, off rip, who, who is he going to keep out of the finals if they make it through the line and they don't get hurt? Who is he going to keep out of the finals? Who? Who? Dog, you, you think Trayvon is not angry about what happened in Tokyo? You think, you, you think what? Marvin Grace is not pissed about what, what happened at the trials? All right. <laughs> Kenny got the worst. Kenny got the worst place in the in, in the world. He got fourth. He got the worst position. He got fourth. You already know Fred is on the mission. Fred, everybody killer. <laughs> okay. So respect to the young man from Oregon. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. He's gonna be. He, he's gonna render himself on that level, not collegiately. Because once you, once the NCAA is over, now you run with the big boys. He's gonna render himself in. He's gonna render himself. Uh. Irrelevant. I'll give him semifinals. He's gonna have to catch somebody slipping, slipping. I'm talking about slipping bad. I'm talking about somebody gotta pull up. Somebody got to not show up to the damn start line. Hmm? He ain't he ain't knocking out them dudes because have them dudes on contract gears too. And and what and, and what was told to me? Fred got no money for that silver medal. You you went against guys that got uh, ulterior motives. <laughs> okay, you went against guys that got that that has you put every, I'm, I'm just doing my Kermit the Frog right now. <laughs> you, you got guys who got a lot. No one lives got dead outside of Gatlin getting hurt. No one lives got damn near dead last. You you think these guys don't have vengeance on their mind? Listen, that them little collegiates, they fooled. Okay, they fooled. All right, let me tell you something about these pro dudes. These pro dudes ain't like I say, y'all ain't never been in these warm up areas. Sure. I ain't been in them hotels. The one constant that you hand them hotels in the in the in the in the whole in the headquarter hotel, whatever the case may be, them little collegiate dudes ain't about to be. Let me tell you something. And I and, and Ray can testify to this. Hmm. Wallace and Tyson was the new booties, dudes out of blood. <laughs> okay. When <laughs> they did it, it was like, what just happened? And right. then it never happened again. Right. <laughs> out for blood, the dude was out for Come blood. On. Out for blood. There was out for blood so bad. Tyson pulled out of the hundred. Come on. <laughs> it's different. Come on. It's different. Y'all don't understand. Hey. Mm -mm. See, these, see, see, these are conversations that y'all need to have. The mm -hmm. conversations y'all don't know about. Okay. And Walter me, Dix. Walter Dix was a special case. Literally, right. I right. will never forget 2005 when he was at World Championship. In my mind, I'm sitting here saying, boy, if if, if I don't beat nobody, I'm beating that kid. Man, you in college. Lo and behold, guess what? He Didn't beat him. <laughs> Every year after that, he was a special one. But the way that we've always looked at it is, in this 100-meter dash, mm -hmm. well, not the 200, y'all do that I want to. This 100-meter dash, I'd be damned if a college kid can come over here and make this team over me. Right. Now they going they going to find, you know, find a way to, you know, sneak in the finals and get fields and shit like that, but in reality, bro, the only college kid I can remember that made it in 100 
And I'm not a true historian like that, but the only college kid I can actually remember, and you can you can help me out on this, that finished in the top three was Walter Dix. Yeah. Literally, yeah. 2007. Walter Dix. Walter Dix got Walter third. Dix, Walter Dix and Trenton Holiday. Remember. Yeah, they and Trenton Holiday. And they yeah. both give up their spots. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and that's the funny thing. Walter Dix... And I kid you not, because that's how that's how that's how Mark was able to go to the world championship that year, two thousand seven, right. because both of them gave up their spots. And, here, and here's what somebody don't realize: I know this to be factual. Walter Dix deliberately gave up his spot. He said, "Let them have it. I'm waiting for 08. Yep. And yep. Yep. this ain't this ain't this, ain't, this, ain't, this no, no no no. He really said that. He he made remember he hold made on, hold on spot. hold on hold on and 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 uh and Trayvon. Trey, Trayvon yeah. like the correspondence. <laughs> he, right. he made it in 2015 behind Tyson. Right, 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 right. So you got so people got to understand, man. Like you know, it's gonna be th this year. This year, they're gonna put the kids to bed. Now, nah, grown folks is playing right now. Yeah, yeah. This, this year, this year, man. Yeah. You got way too many gunners, man. Like we ain't too many now. Excuse me. Yeah, the, the excitement may be on the women's side, but on the men, bro, you got way too many guns. I mean, we sit here talking, and it's only because he don't switch to Adidas and he ain't did much. You still can't count out running. Like, it's just too many people to where it's like, you don't know what's going on in his head right now. Like, okay, I got something to prove too. You know what I'm saying? So you can't cut out folks like running. It's just too many people when you get to talking about Arian Knight ain't going to make it in the 100. Man, it's yeah. not about you saying these people going to make it. You got to really say, can these people beat <laughs> enough the two, people to the, be there? The 2022 nah, that, mm -mm. U.S. championships is going to resemble the 2012 women's 100 meter final. Mm. Where the lady said, "Uh, -uh babies, y'all, y'all, little girls, y'all, y'all stand back. Big, big girls are playing right now. S sit to the side. Sit to the side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's that's what mm -hmm. it is. It's what it mm -hmm. is. And y'all you, just gonna have to, y'all just have to accept that. Look, I understand y'all want the new friend. Y'all want the Jalen Slade. I think his name is Jalen Slade, the young kid from IMG Academy. Everybody wants yeah. all these new females. Shout out Jalen Slade. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want all these new females to come out and blow up and put." And, and, and put up these numbers, dude. It's a difference between going to prom and going to the unemployment line. Come right? on, y'all don't Come get on. it. These dudes, y'all don't understand the type of hit these guys take. Hmm. And then think about it you lose your spot to a kid who potentially may not even turn pro. And then you not only did you lose your spot to a kid that may not turn pro, but then you get you get reduced. Now, I can't speak on Adidas, but I've seen them Nike cuts. Oh, and I can. Hey, 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 hey. Right. <laughs> right, quick, quick. Right. So anybody who anybody who decides they want to go jump on this professional stuff, you better make sure your agent put an uh, a, a no reduction clause in your contract. Like, come on, like, Nike like, don't like, do uh, those. Like Nike and Nike don't do that. You know, there, there, there's a reason why Trayvon and Andre the Gross and them didn't sign with Nike. It's a reason. <laughs> okay, there's a reason. You know what I'm saying? Somebody just said something in here that I want to point out. IV said, it's one thing to qualify for USA's. It's another to make it through the rounds. Mm -hmm. And that is what I'm sitting here telling y'all. I've been there. Y'all, as fans, don't understand. Mm -hmm. When you get to that USA championship, that shit is different. <laughs> when I say different, it's one thing to qualify. But when you get there, it's just like soon as you walk in, the pressure, you feel it, Jack. Like, you feel it. It's a Super Bowl. Like, you really at the Super Bowl of track and field. You are at the USA Championships. Mm -hmm. It's one thing to make it there. Now you got to get here. You got to walk out there on Hayward Field in front of that whole stand of people looking at you. Carry your backpack. You got to go down to that line and know that you got all these eyes on you, yep. the TV on you, yep. your agent on you, yep. everybody on you, yep. and you got to hold your composure and beat people 
who are just as good as you. Yep. And people think that shit is just easy. <laughs> like, yep. man, that shit ain't easy, Jack. It, it is, is not. It, it is, is not. Which is why we saying the college kids is no disrespect to them. It's no disrespect to the people coming up. It's the fact that no, 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 no. If you ain't been in that fire, man, I'm telling y'all, y'all have no. I, I've been in track meets. Look here, I'm be honest with y'all. When I was at the World Championships in 2009, mm. I had no cares whatsoever. Right. Every round at USA's, I was in that thing praying. Okay, Mark 36, Mark 27. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, like you can feel it. Like you look into the right of you, like this Tyson game. You look into the left of you, this Wallace Spearman. That's Mike Rogers. That's Ivory Williams. That's man, I would much rather go to just take me straight to world champs so I can go race the other countries where I ain't gotta feel like this. Okay. <laughs> you know and, and, and let me and, and let me tag on to this. For all y'all that want these young boys to make these finals, you haven't seen strength. Until you see a guy take one step and you already got two meters on you. Come on, man. Not not only that, you ain't seen strength till you feel like the day of the day I can hang with Justin Gatlin and the gun go off and you take your second step and you see his whole body and you know he ain't coming back. <laughs> like literally, you know he ain't coming back. What am I gonna do now? Right. <laughs> like that's right. a whole different ball game. And you sit here like, man, I ain't got the first two rounds and do none of this. Right. You're feeling good. And then here comes the third round. Oh, yeah, he gone. Man, what the oh, hell? Oh, all, those, <laughs> all those star practices, flying 30s, them 10s, all that yeah. stuff that you're doing. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I raced the Wayne Chambers when he was on that Balco. Loud. I got a picture of it. <laughs> I raced the Wayne Chambers when he was on Balco. And I was in lane seven. And that fool was in lane five. And when I tell you when the gun went off, I swear on everything I love, Carlos Moore as my witness. We thought he caught a flyer. <laughs> we said, wait a minute. Like, we literally talking in the race. Like, bro, what the? We all said, what the? <laughs> what the, what the I mean, and he's gone. Gone. I'm talking about, dude, he already, he already three meters up on the field, and we're not even at 40 meters. We're not even at 40 meters. And this guy's dog. And you know when he did it at? You know what track he did it on? And Ray, you know how horrible this track was, but for some odd reason, Cass was running fast. He did it at Modesto. Mm. I could never hit one at Modesto. Gone. I hated Modesto relays. This ninja was gone. Up to my go, dude, Leonard Scott. I swear to God, that dude had that dude drank rocket fuel. Shout out to Leonard Scott. Man, shout, shout out to two six, bro. Like, I, like, dude, y'all don't get it, and y'all want these. Young boys who don't have that mm -mm. dude. Do you know the last teenager, the last 18, 17 to 18 year old to make a United States team? <laughs> I think it was I think it was my old boss, Harvey Glance. He had just turned mm. 18. But that was in 76. Different time. Completely different time. Different time. Mm. Completely different time. We, we, hey, listen, we 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 love y'all enthusiasm, but Ray and myself got to bring y'all back to earth. <laughs> like, come on back down here. Come on back down. Put your feet back down on the ground. Come back to America, man. Like, oh, it's it's different. Put your feet back down on the ground. Come on. If we ain't hating. We ain't. That's the last thing we do. It. We oh, just no. literally giving y'all the real from the inside. Like, it sound good. You want it to happen, but the chances of it happening is very slim. Give you Literally. Prime, give you a prime example. Look, you really think Bolt, Bolt's whole program wasn't designed for him to go to the 100? Dude, look how he ran when he was 17, mm -hmm. 18, 19, 20, mm -hmm. and 20. Now, when he was 20, you saw the difference. He meant now, people don't, people tend to forget Osaka. He came off that curve before Tyson. A lot of people don't. A lot of people don't want to give that man credit. Tyson was yeah, just he did. Different. He did. And then all of a sudden, he turned twenty-one, and that man testosterone kicked in. Yeah, mm -hmm. different, different. Mm -hmm. let, let these kids, let these kids grow into their man bodies, man. Let them grow into it. And Michael Williams got so many things he got to fix too. He has the same issue that 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 uh, CC got. Yep. Boy, it's literally the exact same issue. 
boy will jump out on you for 60 meters, boy, he gone. I'm talking about mm -hmm. six four, six three, gone. Mm -hmm. but, he, but, the, but guess what? You can reel him back in if you are a sub-10 sprinter. You can reel him back in. Yep. He will come yep. back to you. He's yep. coming back to you. Fred's not coming back to you. You can hang okay? it up. <laughs> All right. Tra and, and don't hang it up. They're and, not coming and, back. And, 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 for, and for the guy... Uh, 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 the guy who caused all the stir on the internet with, with Trayvon's live feed, mm -hmm. his top end. Nobody, you don't. Trayvon don't come back to you, bro. Trayvon don't come back to you. And and the fact, that, and I'm sorry, I'm, I and, and I have to address because this has been weighing on my damn chest. Okay, Go ahead. I know he watches your show. Okay, you sitting there and saying that Trayvon could not, don't have top end speed. Dude, he literally was running on one leg. <laughs> now, 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 let me share something with you. Because I spoke to his then coach. I said, Ford, why the hell is Trayvon out there running? Ford told him not to run him. And he ran him anyway. See, mm. Trayvon's such a humble guy that he's not going to throw people underneath the, underneath the bus. I will. Trayvon had no business being out there because Trayvon was hurt. But guess what? I got so much love and respect for what he did because he did it for his country. He did it for his home. Mm -hmm. You can see, you can see he's gonna ride for his dudes. But it cost him four years of his career. Yep. And the fact yep. that he's out there, you don't knock that. You don't knock that. Okay. I've seen Trayvon get the stick and nobody, and he caught people and nobody came and nobody ran up on him. Mm -hmm. If Trayvon was, if Trayvon was 90%, that race is a different race. It's a different race, but 2016 was just different. You know what I'm saying? It, it was, mm -hmm. was kind of like, like Gatlin was on second. I'm, I'm sorry, Gatlin should have been on anchor. That's that. that's yeah. me. Yeah, I, 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 I can anchor. attest to that too. Gatlin should have been on anchor. Um, mm -hmm. um, Christian Coleman proved that he can handle second. Remember, he ran second in the prelims. A lot mm -hmm. of people don't remember that. Christian Coleman mm -hmm. made the 2016 team. Okay, mm -hmm. you run, you ran Trayvon in the middle of that race because Trayvon's able if he's 100. percent If not, mm -hmm. run Christian Coleman. Run Christian Coleman on second and let Gatlin do what he do, because Gatlin, because remember Gatlin was on a whole nother level. It's 2015, 14, 15, and 16. Gatlin was different. He was different. All right, so people, people got to take people got to take a step back and look at things from yep. a realistic yep. perspective and not yep. fanat you know fanatical perspective. Yeah. Okay. And so. You know, so, when you saying that, it reminds me because you know Tiger Woods just came back, and, and y'all, we're gonna wrap this show up here in a minute. I know we've been here two hours, but this y'all should have been ready for this. It <laughs> reminds me when Tiger Wood came back to the Masters last week, right? right? And you know, my first, my favorite show is First Take. It always has been. Stephen A. said something, um, something that made sense, and it made me think about Trayvon. Um, he said because it was he was like, "Do you think?" The question was, do you think that Tiger Woods can win the Masters? And then Stephen A. was like, no, not at all. He's been down for too long. But then he said, but hold on. Let me explain to y'all. He said, the man was in a car wreck. He almost died. He didn't die. He said, the man almost lost his leg. He didn't lose his leg. The man had to go through rehab when they say he would make a play again. He went through rehab. Right. I just saw this man playing with his daughter, and y'all say he won't be able to walk again. Tiger Woods is already won. The masters don't mean nothing. <laughs> it don't, right. If he go get a green jacket, what does it mean? This man literally wasn't supposed to be able to play. He's already won. So when you come with people like an sport like Trayvon, and when that's why I was so pissed when that dude was coming in. I'm like, bro, he's already won. Why? You got people that have a poor hamstring that can't come back. You got people that are that are, that you know what I'm saying that have just like just some regular stuff. Like, oh yeah, I told my groin that took me out. This the the injury this man had was supposed to be career ending. Uh, multiple, like, multiple. Come on, Jack. You don't more. run no more ever. It's over with. So go sit down, go work at Hardy's somewhere and do that. This man came back, and not only did he come back, he mm. came back and won. Right. And not only won, solidified himself as one of the fastest in history. Bro, you ain't gotta get nailed out. What? Right. I'm gonna tell you how I I'm gonna tell you what I went through. I don't give a damn about your cramp. <laughs> I went through this and I came back. No metal 
or no nothing you can tell me means I'm a loser. I don't give a damn if I don't get a medal at, at Olympic trials. There's people who have never had an injury and run fast and never see this stage. I got injured, sat down, multiple surgeries, and came back and got to this point. Every yeah. time I run, I'm winning. And that's the problem I had with that dude. Like, bro, you so yo your, your vision is so blurred at, at, at what Trayvon is actually showcasing to the world. It's more, it's it's bigger than track. It's like every single time this man runs, that's a victory. Why? I wasn't supposed to be here. <laughs> like let, 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 and, and, and let me I'm gonna close it out on this. And Trayvon, I know you're watching, so you could correct me if I'm wrong. Trayvon ran 10-4 coming out of high school. Trayvon went to Albuquerque, New Mexico and ran sub-10. Didn't get the publicity like somebody else did by running sub-10, but we're not going to go there. Okay? Trayvon, mm -hmm. Trayvon was a package deal with TJ Holmes to go to Baylor. That man came in and ran 10-4, ended up running nine nines consistently, ends up doing some of the most phenomenal things his freshman year. The man lived up. He meddled. He's mm -hmm. lived up to every expectations that was put out in front of him. So we should celebrate that man and not knock him down. I celebrate you, Trayvon, because I know I know your path because I know your former coach, Mike Ford. That's my guy. So I know the stuff that you went through. I know where you've been. And people tend to forget, remember, he lost somebody very near and dear to him. Hmm. He lost somebody that he loved. That I think he loved some. That, I think that was his coach. That's like a mother to him, man. He looked like the man. Y'all don't understand what these athletes go through. They're just not our entertainment, man. They're human beings, bro. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now, I know what was going on with Trayvon, but that's not, I'm not at liberty to say because I was told that in confidence. Mm hmm. But let me tell you something. The fact that I know what's going on, I got more respect for Trayvon than any sprinter that, that I ever came across in my life. And he can never do no wrong in my eyes. Yeah, come on. <laughs> like, he can never all. do no like, wrong in my eyes. Come on, man. What Trayvon, come on. Did, what Trayvon did, what Trayvon did, and the fact that Trayvon, not too many men can go out there and say, yo, dude, I'm not ready to run this relay. I'm not ready to mm -hmm. run this I'm not there. Oh, I'll be. Mean, oh, listen, Ray, you ain't the only one with the scoop, too, baby. I, I had I, I had intel in Tokyo, my damn self. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So for what? So 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 let's not knock our 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 sprinters. Let's uplift them and 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 and, and show them the love and stuff like. Dude, we listen. We can criticize. Look, they criticize. You think these cats go back to the rooms and 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 say, "Oh, well, you shit, uh, you know, whatever." No. Ray, you said it best. Nobody knows how mm -hmm. Tyson had to handle running. Dude, you can see if you watch the replay and they showed the hundred and he's walking back and he's like, and he's like, like, dude, he ran 971 and got his doors blown off. Bruh. That don't mess anybody up. Dude, Usain Bolt successfully retired half a track and field. You you don't know what Tyson was going through. Come on. You do. You <laughs> Come do. on. Come on. Right, so, I've so instead of looking for your 15 minutes of trying to be disrespectful, mm -hmm. take a step mm -hmm. back. What happened, mm -hmm. baby? You know what I'm saying? And one thing, one thing we all got to say about Trayvon, Trayvon embodies everything that we want athletes to do. He had no excuses, even though we know what he was going through. Mm -hmm. He never publicly said what was happening. He said, nah, man, this is when I damn tanked. You got to respect the man, but we know what's really going on. And so mm -hmm. to you, soon to you, Trayvon, man, when I come down yep. to Jacksonville to watch your practice with, with Coach Rayner, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yep. Me, yep. You know what I'm saying? Give, I'm gonna give you your flowers to your face, bro. You yep. know what I'm saying? And we're gonna end the Trayvon flowers by saying exactly what somebody just said. You can't call a man soft when they come back from the injuries. That's almost like calling KD soft because he didn't win in they, they didn't win, you know what I'm saying? If he came back off of his injury, bro. You can't call me soft wolf a damn because I didn't get the NBA title or MVP. I just came back off of a torn Achilles. Right. You name somebody that's soft <laughs> and they're going to come back after tearing an Achilles. And most track athletes do not come back from Achilles injuries. Once Man, they don't come. Most track athletes don't come back from, from a cramp. 
<laughs> what you talking about? Oh, a lot of hamstring. Oh, I'm going to shut it down. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I'm still dealing with this hamstring, man. I don't know if I'm going to be able to run today. You know what, what I'm saying? Like, Thanks. come on, man. Like, you can't call that. And that's why I took offense to that. Like, you know, not, not just from being an athlete. Like, bro, like, as a man of God, you can't sit here and that man's a walking testimony. How you going to call that man soft? Because right. soft is, I'm not, I, I'm not going to come back at all. And, and, that's and, soft. And, and let's be clear. We're not piling on you. Because I know you, I, I know dude. I know dude. And I'm like, yeah, why? I've been knowing that dude for over 18 years. Like, no, I'm I, hot I, with I him. Dude, I know he looks familiar, man. I'm like, I know dude. Man, he was at Barton when, when I was at KCK. He was at Barton when Tyson was there, High Leach was there. All of us were in the same class. Okay, That's how you know with, him. He, he was there with Veronica and them. Yeah, that's the same class. We all in the same class. Yeah, Halise, yo, Halise, mm mm, damn, Danny Johnson, all those guys. Come yeah. on, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he know better, man. He, he know, better. yeah, he know better. We not this, we dog, we not this generation, dog. We we generation next, man. We don't we we don't move like that, baby. We don't move mm -hmm. like that. We different, man. Ray, appreciate this, man. <laughs> hey, man, I appreciate you, bro. That's why I gotta have you on again because Absolutely. because this, this like what like like you being on the show. You know, anytime anybody come on the show, you know what I'm saying? We talking forever. But you been on the show would be like a docu-series on Netflix. <laughs> hey, we had to go season episode one, episode two, episode three, episode four. Because man, like, hey, just let me just let me know when, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know can I gotta give a cheap plug? Me and my brothers, Hassan Stamps, Cal go ahead, Stevenson, you got to Cal Stevenson. David Pickett, we have our track. We have our track. Uh, we have we have our own podcast called Track Chat with the mm -hmm. most unknowns. We record live every Wednesday at eight p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Follow us at Track and at Track Chatter. You know, it's in my bio. You can come. You can hit me up. Inbox me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Part Four. People ask me what does Part Four mean. My daddy got four sons, and I'm the fourth mm. one. That's what part four means. So there you go. Mm. History lesson right there. You can follow us on Facebook. You can follow us on, on IG. You know what I'm saying? And we and we talk about everything, college track and field, professional track and field. You know, last year, Shakari was a hot topic. That, mm -hmm. drove, right, that, that chick drove me up the wall, you know, but we you know, but you know, we definitely gonna touch on some stuff, man. So definitely follow us. That's why my handle is track chat. Look us up. We good to go, man. Y'all, y'all make sure y'all make sure y'all do that real quick. We're finna get off of here, but I don't seen it flash on my screen twenty different times. They want us to speak on Michael Norman, so I'm gonna speak on Michael Norman. Yes, I can't speak, speak on, on Michael Norman because I ain't really seen nothing about Michael Norman. So I'll let I you can. close the show with you speaking on Michael Norman, and then we'll we'll, we'll close the show with that because they keep okay. asking. So you got it. Okay, so Michael Norman's a pro, therefore, therefore I can critique him the way I need to critique him. Rumor has it that he's going down to the hundred. That's the rumor. Now, that's the rumor I heard too. Now, for those of y'all who wasn't at the 2019 Brownman that was at our national coaches convention, he got on stage and he said, Hey, I made a deal with my coach at the time, Coach Gilbert Smith. He does appreciate it. Keep going. And, and, and Quincy Watts. He said, If I do well in the 400, I get to drop down to the 100. Well, rumor has it that he might be running the 100. So, Got to look out and see. Remember, the end of the year after, after the World Championships, remember, he ran 992. <laughs> remember, he, he was dropping some hundreds out there. He ran under 10 seconds like three times last year. So, mm -hmm. so, so you know, right now, a lot of those Cali kids going to open up a Mount Sac. So, Mount Sac will give you a good indicator of what he's going to end up doing. So I was told. Oh. I got to add this in before we get off of here because somebody yeah. asked last show and I did get the information. Laird is hurt. He is he is directly came from the source of his coach. Yes, he is hurt right now. So because he's hurt right now, that's why y'all haven't seen him. I did get that information and I had I went all the way up to the top to find out. So yeah, Laird is hurt right now. Um I also from that same source that I got, um USA Track and Field also said that based off but really piggyback on what you just said, Mount Sac is about to be hot. Yes. That's just what I was told. <laughs> That's what I was. Yes. I was saying. I was told that. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. They literally told me, Ray, do you want to fly you out here to Mount Sac? I said, man, look here, Jack. I can't that weekend, but let me think about it. 
because they was like, you might want to be here for this. So Mount Sac is about to go down to where we're going to find out who can do what and who's going to be doing what. Because from what I've been told, mm-hmm. they lighting that thing up to where there ain't no more lies. And there ain't nobody hiding no more. Like, all right, we're going to show. We're going to find out right and, here. And based on what I was told, Rob Benjamin and Michael Norman, they're ready. Ooh, I might have to take that ticket. <laughs> I might have to go. And I, I might have to cancel my weekend. I might have to go, boy. Stay I ready. might have to go. Hey. Matter of fact, I'm going to call him out right now. Wally, I'm coming. Put my ticket in my email. Shout out to my boy. <laughs> I ain't even going to lie. Shout out to my boy Wallace, man. Like That's, man, I that's, still, one, that's still one of my best friends, man. I ain't going to lie. I will go out to my second and do the interviews. Listen, listen. I do the interviews, man. You know how many people want me to do those uh, interviews? People want me to be the PA announcer because I'm bringing that. I'm, I'm from, in case I can't tell, I'm from New York City. So I grew up in the street ball, all that stuff, and how we always talk, and, you know, we talk to the crowd, whatever. Man, you put, the worst thing you could do and the best thing you could do is put a microphone in my hand. I'm going to have that place rocking. So let me know. I'm available. I might have to bring you down for the Fred Curl Invitational then. May 14th. Oh, no, y'all got NCs that weekend. No, y'all no, no, got no, reasons. No, 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 I'm, 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 I'm moving to another job, so right now I'm free. Oh, I'm free. May 14th, Fred Curl invitation. What you wanna do? Let me know. Let me know what you I just did. <laughs> I just did. I, I literally just did right now on the show. I just did. All right, let's get it. Let's, shit, let's get it popping. Because I would I would thoroughly enjoy because you know I gotta do the race take from there. That you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Right. That's how they want to set up. Because I would thoroughly enjoy having you there in the Prince box with me talking to the athletes and then we're not going to do it the way that NBC does. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but the way that we got this thing set up is you can't do your post-race interview after you go change clothes. Right. And then you get to come back out and sit down just like on any other NBA, NFL thing. Go to the locker room, change clothes. Then you can come back and talk to me in the month, and then we'll ask you all the questions about your track meet. I, I like want you that. here for that track meet. If you can keep your, your calendar clear for that track meet, I will talk to Velocity Stakes. Shout out to Velocity Stakes. Make sure y'all following them and they all, always watch them because they're the ones that have put this track meet on. I will reach out to them and tell them that I want you there as other correspondents and we're going to make that thing jump. I that think the mean. fans will also like that too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely with it, man. Definitely with it. Anything that's going to help move this sport forward, man. Anything. Well, that, that's, that's all we got to do. All right, y'all. Uh, we hope y'all actually enjoy the real track show and not me just being here being funny and and going off the wire and stuff like that like i say it's year two you know year two a race take so i wanted to actually start you know having more of these type of shows to where it's more sport oriented and just not me being on the show clowning so i appreciate lamont i know you lamont damn coach johnson yeah. i appreciate you lamont <laughs> yes. Yes. for coming on to the show and yeah i'm serious about um may 14th like I say, Velocity Stakes, they already know because they watch the show. So, hey, that's what I want to happen, y'all. So, let's make it happen. For sure, man. You got my email. You got anything else I need to send you, let me know. And if they did, yes, sir. If they, if about it, I'll be there. Yes, sir. There. And to all of y'all people in the chat, we love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Yes, I did see a bunch of the happy birthdays and happy anniversaries. I saw all of that. I appreciate y'all. We did make it for a whole year, and we are only, I think, like twenty people short of five thousand followers in a year. So that's pretty. That's wow. that's pretty. That's three sixty. I love you too. Uh, so that's 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 pretty major. Um, again, I'm gonna say this, and we are gonna get off this thing. Ain't nobody hating on CC. We just keeping it real. <laughs> T A F Chatter. That's our <laughs> handle on YouTube. Go follow us and go get some good content. Ray was on one of our shows. Yeah, come on, come on, get some good content. The more y'all follow, the bigger we can become. The more we, yeah. can do, we we need more shows like this that's gonna give it to you raw but respectful, right? Yeah, not not, yeah. not 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 the other website who be trying to charge you <laughs> <laughs> and try and try to take my boy out. You know what I'm saying? They try to take my man's out. You know what I'm saying? They try to take the fans out to my man's. Yo, but yo, son, you can't put the fans at my man's. Yo, you know what that means to a black man. Listen, listen. We've been to get out here because they probably watching too. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, hey appreciate you, brother, man. Love you. I'm gonna get on these four for real to get you down here with that Fred Curly invite, cause that's gonna be that's gonna be perfect for us. So I'm gonna keep in touch. But you already know me and you. You, you already know <laughs> for sure, for sure. Let me know. All right, brother. All right, all right. You have a good night. Yeah. All right, y'all. Damn, I'm gonna go too. Bye. Great show.